My, what a stormy night. Reminds me of the story my dear old granddad used to tell me on nights like this when I was a little girl. I called him John, he called me Jim. Nigh fifty years that I knowed him and he knowed me, and he was square and honest all that time and fair. I'd pass him mornings going down the road or driving into town, and we'd look up the same old way and wave a hand and smile and say, Hello, John. Hiya, Jim. I guess you don't real often see such kind of friends as him and me. Not much of talking big, but say the kind of friends that stick and stay. Come rich, come poor, come rain, come shine. Whatever he might have was mine, and mine was his'n. And we both noted when we'd holler on the road, Howdy, John. Howdy, Jim. And when I got froze out one year, he dropped in on me with that queer big smile up on his way to town and laid two hundred dollars down and says, no inners to understand or note. And he took my hand and squeezed it and he drove away cause there weren't nothing more to say. So long, John. So long, Jim. And when John's boy came court and sue, John smiled and, well, I smiled some too, as though things was coming out as if we'd fixed them just about. And when Sue blushed and told me, why I sat and chuckled on the sly, and so did John. Put out his hand, no words but these, you understand? Shake John, shake Jim. And when Sue's mother died, John come and sat with me, and he was dumb as far as speech might be concerned. But in them eyes of his there burned a light of love and sympathy and friendship you don't often see. He took my hand in his that day and said, What else was there to say? Hello, John. Hello, Jim. Somehow the world ain't the same today. The trees are all aflame with autumn, but there's something gone. Went out of life, I guess, with John. He nodded that old grizzled head on the pillow of his bed and lifted up the helping hand and whispered, Sometime, understand? Bye, John. Bye, Bye Jim. Jim.